Good morning, everybody. My name is Professor Alistair Hevington. I'm Professor of Botany in the University of Bristol, and I'm also the Editor-in-Chief of New Phytologist. And today, what I thought I would do is um, perhaps talk to you a little bit about publishing uh, your work in New Phytologist. And in particular, what I wanted to do is, is to share with you some tips, tips especially for, uh, for early career scientists on how to get your work published. So maybe one of the first questions which you need to ask yourself is, is the scope of my work suitable for publishing in New Phytologist? And if you want to try and address that particular question, one of the first things you might want to do is ask yourself, do people in my field actually publish in this journal? In order to uh, perhaps get some information on that, what you should really do, I suggest, is have a look at some recent issues of the journal itself. Ask yourself the question, would I be pleased to see my work published alongside these papers? You can also check the scope of the journal itself by visiting the journal homepage. So what you're having a look at now is a screenshot of the journal homepage. And as you can see there, there's all sorts of very, very useful information. And among the sort of information you'll see there, and highlighted by the arrow, is in fact a tab which will take you to the aims and scope of the journal itself. This provides a wealth of information, and I would strongly suggest that you consult this. You will also see there's a tab which takes you to the current issue itself, so you can engage with individual papers. And there, that's the opportunity to find out, does the journal publish the sort of things that interest you? You can also have a look at the members of the editorial board, because by looking at this, you may recognise some leaders in your field. And again, this would give you, if you like, increased confidence the journal might well be interested in your work. Let's talk next about writing your manuscript. And perhaps the best place to start is, is um, I would suggest, you've got to agree who should be an author. And also, it's very, very important to decide the order of the authors in the author list. If you decide this really right at the outset, this can um, really get rid of any possibility in the future of any, any disagreements. So one of my top tips would be really get the author list decided very early on. I would also say that the role of a senior author is very important. This is because she or he will take overall responsibility for the manuscript. That's the preparation and the overall submission of the process. And then once that's been decided, I think it's very important to divide up the work and assign specific tasks to your colleagues. You're looking again at another screenshot. I think it's important also to decide what type of paper you're writing. And very much so, become familiar with the author guidelines. And again, on the screenshot, what you can see is there's a tab to the author guidelines. These are very important and these dictate the format of the manuscript which you will write. And you really must pay um, very close attention to these. Another issue that comes up when we're asked about fairly frequently is the question of the pre-submission inquiry. And the major question there is, what is it and is it worth the effort? The purpose of the pre-submission inquiry is to find out whether, in principle, new phytologists would be interested in publishing your work. So the pre-submission inquiry, let's talk about that in a little more detail. Typically, it's, it's a letter, it's about one page in length. The purpose of the letter is to describe the context of your work. And what that means is it's an opportunity for you to place your work in a bigger picture. The letter also describes, and this really is very important, what's novel about your work, what's exciting about it, and really why readers of New Phytologists should be interested. Once you send this to us, one of our editors will get back to you within about 48 hours with a decision, and the decision will be either no thanks, or yes, we'd like to learn more about this, and we'll invite you to submit a full application. Of course, at this stage, anything you receive on the pre-submission front um, will certainly not predicate or will not inform the decision, the final decision taken by the editor. However, it will, we hope, allow you to proceed.